Iman is releasing the new phase of villas in the Oasis. I'm not going to bore you with the amenities and features. Instead, let's take a drive and explore the surroundings. Enjoy the drive. So we are on Emirates Road, E611, heading towards uh, the new DWC airport. There is commercial heavy vehicles on this road. And now we're going west on Ali Alai Street. So let's take an exit on Ali Alai Street West, D57. So, the Oasis by Emma is in the intersection of Al Yalai Street and Emirates Road and Sheikh Zayed, Sheikh Zayed bin Hamdan Al Nayad Street. So, on the right, you can see the Oasis has started. It's a very big plot, and there are no power lines on top of the Oasis. It's on the other side, on the left hand side. That's a very big plus. So we are still on Alayalaya Street. This shows how big the land is of the oasis. It's one of the biggest master developments by Imar. It will have more than 7,000 units of townhouses, villas, mansions, and super mansions. So just see the size of the land of the oasis and RTA is still working on road improvement projects on Al Yalai Street and Sheikh Zayed bin Hamdan Al Nahyan Street and you can see all the work that's happening and on the left is the commercial zoning, it's uh, warehousing and industries, it's the Dubai Investments Park. So this is the, you can see all the warehouses and storage on the Dubai Investments Park side. And again, on the right, is still the oasis by more and you can see the uh, machines and cranes excavators are working to the leveling has started imar is fast now just to tell you just to let you know that imar is going to when imar makes any master development they create world-class infrastructure with amazing connectivity so we are now we are on uh, we're still on al street but now we are taking the exit going north towards uh, we are going north on sheikh zayed bin al nahyan sheikh zayed bin hamdan al nahyan street so we are still on al street and the oasis is continuing And here it is. Now we are heading, we are going towards the Wildland North on Sheikh Zayed bin Hamdan Al Nahyan Street. And all, all land on the right hand side, it's still the oasis. 
Pro uh, the Oasis is again on Emirates Road, Al Ayala Street, and Sheikh Zayed bin Hamdan Al Nayan Street. You can see on the map, it's a huge piece of land. And what you see now, so so now we are on Sheikh Zayed bin Hamdan Al Nayan Street. What you see now is going to be completely different in the coming years because Imar, as I was mentioning, whenever Imar makes a mass development, they create infrastructure with interchanges, exits and entry points to the community, to the master development they are making, in this case the Oasis. So the Oasis will have at least two entry and exit points and with dedicated interchanges. There will be so many bridges being built by MR and RTA combined because MR is the government. 56% is owned by the by holding. So they work with RTA and they, and they make sure that traffic is not an issue. And, to, and the success of uh, MR and, and, and any community is the connectivity to the highways. So on the right, the Oasis is still there. On the left hand side is the Jumeirah Golf Estates. And you can see Sheikh Zayed bin Hamdan on Nayan Street has less commercial traffic compared to Emirates Road. This is more uh, of, of uh, this Sheikh Zayed bin Hamdan on Nayan Street is more of is, connect, is connecting more to residential communities. So it has less traffic, very less commercial uh, equipment uh, vehicles. And now on our left, Tilal Al Ghaf. It's a very popular residential community by Majid Al Fatim. So this is the Tilal Al Ghaf. It's a huge community as well. And let's go right again to the Oasis. The Oasis is, can you just imagine how many minutes I, have, I haven't edited the video yet. So it's just one straight video. And this is now, the Oasis is now ending. That's it. It's ending here. And this is the Mark Lagoons. That's it for this video.